Right, we are now festival ready, motherfuckers. Cut a bit lower. Hell yeah! Uh, Brandon are so confident in their ability to procreate with women tonight, they're not even gonna bother bringing anything at all to sleep in. <laughs> they're gonna go to this festival just with their clothes on their back because they are so convinced that they're gonna score tonight and get to sleep in a nice comfy bed. And if that doesn't happen, if they don't find women, it's gonna be the funniest shit ever when they have to sleep outside in a fucking field. Fuck the hi-hat! Fuck the hi-hat! Fuck the hi-hat! Fuck the hi-hat! You're allowed to eat there. No, 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 it's vegan. Shit. Run, fucking run, run. run. So I got back from that festival day one, probably about an hour ago. Got about three hours sleep in my car. All this week, I have literally haven't been sleeping properly. I literally look like a crackhead. Look at these bags under my eyes and my skin, man. Now, I'm just about to hit a chest session. Like, going out and stuff isn't really going to hinder your progress as long as you eat the food, as long as you get the calories in, and you account for the macros if you drink any alcohol, and you still train properly and train hard, it's going to be fine, as long as you don't do it all the time. Everything in moderation. About to hit a chest session now. I live like an hour and a half away from the festival. Going to do some work, do some client work, do some, like, videography stuff. And then me and John and Brandon and possibly Tom will be heading back down tomorrow to party a little bit more. Right, like recently I've said, I've become absolutely infatuated with like a certain type of music. Like I've always loved hardstyle, but I've become infatuated with drum and bass since going out. And John was never like, he wasn't really into that like wobbly kind of music. And I think I've converted John. Bro, what the hell? I just wanna to listen to this the whole time I train now. Same. This has to be the most obnoxious stringer known to man. You should know what this is. Or die. When our hearts are tight And we're on the way When it's still absolutely covered in glitter from the night before because you just got in from a festival haven't had time to shower and you're like pasted in glitter. Life is fucking tasty right now. Like, everything's just so good. I'm like super busy, haven't really slept. But honestly, like, it's so good. Like, I know I'm not on drugs. People are like, oh, you're on drugs, I'm so happy. Uh, but everything's just like real, real good. I'm doing what I want. I've had some like real bad news recently as well, which I'll tell you guys about. It's not really bad news. It's bad news. It is like how you choose to take it. But um, yeah, everything's falling into place. I'm doing what I want to do. And I'm working hard. I haven't got a lot of money in the minute. But I'm going to make it. And it's all fucking good. Right, so I just got back from the gym. Um, I gotta do a few bits before the festival tomorrow, like nip slip, low key nip slip. So I gotta do some client plans. I've gotta edit the video of Andre. I've gotta do my own video. I've gotta start making this, edit photos, do some washing, and generally probably have a shower as well and sort my life out and try and get this glitter off me. That's gonna be the rest of my evening. I wanna watch Game of Thrones. That's like the only thing I, I watch or kind of like watch on TV. But uh, if I have time, I'm gonna do that, but it's probably not gonna happen. You may also notice that my PC isn't there. Basically, I tried to update Windows when I wanted to upgrade my RAM to like 32 gigabytes. Gigabytes, and I got the blue screen of death. So the video for Andre is due on Wednesday. It's meant to come back on Tuesday at some time, and I've got to edit this video for you guys as well. My Mac doesn't quite cut it, and I'm hoping it's going to come back in time so I can actually edit properly. Yo, 
Joel or something, man. Basically, I need a favour. You know we're going to Bournemouth Slater. Right, the tickets are sold out, the parking sold out. When I was there on Friday, I took a picture of the um, production car parking, like, pass thing. Do you reckon you can make one of these on Photoshop? We'll get it printed, we'll fake it, and try and blag it into the production parking with, uh, like, all fake passes. I believe in you, bro. You can do this. Let's do it. Right, it's 12 o'clock, it's Sunday. So, came home last night just to do some work. Work hard, you play hard, and you fucking enjoy life. It's gonna be so lit tonight. We've got Brandon, we've got Tom, we've got John. We're still trying to blag festival passes. The whole festival's completely sold out. Right, I've got to do that before we go and a few other bits. Just finishing up some client work now for Athlete and some of the few bits on uh, the guide. If you want a good suntan and you don't want to get skin cancer, get this stuff. This spray stuff is good. Right, guys, I'll give you a little explanation behind what I take. Okay, zinc and magnesium. Pretty pointless. I wouldn't bother buying this. I only take it because I got it for free. Everyday multivitamin. Omega-3 fish oil is going to have one of those. And then some green tea extract. Again, I wouldn't bother buying this. I got it for free ages ago. I need to use it up. It's pretty pointless. I'm just stick with the Omega-3 and multivits. Right, as well, I'm also going to bring these to the festival. Some 5-HTP. The body uses it to produce serotonin in your brain, which is the neurotransmitter that makes you feel good. So what 5-HTP is, is it's basically like a precursor or something that your body can use to produce more serotonin. So people take it as like a natural anti- depressant i just take it because it makes me sleep better and when i am getting like no sleep i'm so busy i can get like randomly really really down and shit and uh makes me happy i'm not like depressed i don't think i'm depressed anyway i fucking love life but um that's a little dl on what i take and why I haven't actually seen Brandon in about two days and what happened was we went up on the Friday just to go for a day and Brandon was like holy shit this is the best time ever and ended up spending the whole weekend there with these random girls so do you know what I said at the start about them having like nowhere to stay both John and Brandon and myself had a very successful time playing chess so it turns out all you need to do if you want to be successful at a festival is go to a festival with absolutely nowhere to stay absolutely nothing to sleep and absolutely no sleep back no spare change of clothes and it's like fucking it's like survival of the fittest you either find somewhere or you die. We go meet Brandon down there, pick him up Tom from a train station. John's training. I'm not trained today, I trained yesterday. Meant to be legs, but I will be crippled if I train legs and go to a festival. So go train legs tomorrow, have a rest day today like I'm meant to anyway. And uh yeah. Right, do you guys want to hear the best news ever? Do you know I broke a crash my Mavic into a wall? I literally wanted to kill myself. Look what we have back. Look at she is! I'm gonna fly this at a festival today. Hopefully it's not gonna get like hit by like a missile from some in the crowd because you're not meant to fly these at festivals. And that's even if we do get into the festival. But this, my baby, she is fucking back. Let me show you some gains for the festival. Over the past like week or so, I haven't really been tracking macros just because I've been really struggling. I've been like binging a lot of food. I've been going over my macros and just feeling really, really hungry. And I find it's because when you're constantly thinking about food, what you've got to eat, it makes it so much more difficult. So what I've been doing is just counting protein and roughly going by like loosely estimating macros and basically eating clean and what I want. Just because at the moment, it's working better for me. Food wise, what we've got for ball masters is we've got some broccoli, we've got chicken. I've got this with some chicken that wanted a Kinder Bueno and normally wouldn't buy anything for girls because you don't want to invest in someone and give them leverage and then make you think that you want them, but we've already been there. Classic white monster, some Skittles to carb up and then some carb killers. We've got some beef biltong from Muscle Food and then some Muscle Food porridge for the morning. Let's fucking get it. <laughs> Yeah, John's just gone to the print shop to see if your pass is any good, man. Oh, all aboard the warp train. That looks legit, Dude, man. that is literally that looks identical, legit. bro. Legit. We're doing this with wristbands. <laughs> Tom, right, Tom has made this entirely from a picture I sent him. Like, yes! Yeah. Right, these, laced with crystal meth, Tren, and numerous other amphetamines. Only 30 pence, 32 pence a time. These are the secret gains. Even though they're really high in fat and carbs, which is terrible, these are good. We're we'll opening this up. They're a little bit stuck together. They don't look very appetizing. I just ate it as a block. It looks like a shit. You're a terrible person. You do not do that. That's not how you eat sesame snaps. Right. Smell? Smells pretty. It smells like nothing. It just smells like a, a non bready burger bun. But taste, on the other hand. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Well, that is so good. Oh. It'll fucking explode. Yeah! Right, Tom, you gotta down that beer. It's literally two minutes. Right, we got the first checkpoint to get through where it's production and like artists only. We got no wristbands, we got nothing. But um, you just sunk it. Ow! It hit the tube. <laughs> I heard that. Oh! <laughs> Bottom uh. <laughs> take, take the sunglasses off so you don't look so uh, wobby. Woo! 
Sorry, mate, just dropping my lunch all down myself. <laughs> Cheers, boss. Yeah, we know where we're going. Thanks, mate. Hello, mate. End, all right, cool. A bit dry today, isn't it? It's not easy. We made it. Let's compare Tom's sake to the real thing. You ready? <laughs> Dude, the red is like slightly different, but color wise, they're literally like color and design. They're like exactly the same. Dude, you did good. <laughs> you did damn good. Do well getting a Chinese together. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, I'll give you a noodle. Only if you ask. No, Tom, fuck off. Um, Eleven out of ten illegals right now. Right, this is a maiden flight in this drone as well, so I don't actually know. Is this actually its first flight? Yeah, dude, it's a brand new drone. Yeah, yeah, the the aircraft is approaching all first flights. The Miss Aero main crew are when approaching their flight zone. Do I have the permission to find the airport flight zone? Yes, yeah, I yeah. do. Fuck. God, this is so sketch. Mo, mate, this is sketch. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready for edit? You ready? You ready? Wait, wait. So, Boardmasters is over, uh, it's been eventful, I died twice from hypothermia, uh, John's dead, Mo's playing chess, so um, yeah. You are a dirty boy. No, no. No. I fucking hate my life. Slept in a car tonight is much better than a tent because you don't get wet. And it's also, you can like put an airbed in the back, but the downside is it's absolutely fucking boiling in the morning. And then like we lost him at like 10 o'clock last night and now he's on the train somewhere. He probably doesn't even know where he's going, but he's getting the train somewhere. So it's not really my problem anymore. Oh, right, Tom, you can come here if you want, bro. Tom, you can come in, bro. <laughs> my tongue and my finger hurt. <laughs> How long have you sat outside there for? Well, just then? Yeah. About an hour. I'm so sorry. It's alright, mate. Don't worry about it. I've been through worse last <laughs> night. This is nothing. I can handle anything, mate. So I walk across the festival, which is about like two miles or some shit. Like, I don't know. And then I end up going back to Tom's tent. Uh, so yeah, I had a I had a hand towel for a blanket, a rucksack for a, for a fucking pillow. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was like minus fucking whatever it was. Bro, to be fair, that is completely your fault because, like, I was going on to John and um, Brandon about survival of the fittest, where, like, they bring, like, absolutely nothing to a festival in the hope that they will find a generous woman kind enough to share her tent with them. And Tom, there was, like, a fairly attractive woman. I was like, Tom, like, but if I were you, I'd go speak to her. And you're like, no, no, she's wearing Air Maxes and jeans. I can't <laughs> fucking do that. Literally, I looked straight down, clocked her footwear. Some horrible JD special Air Maxes <laughs> ah! and some dodgy boot cut jeans. It's not happening, mate. I'm telling you. Yeah, I was walking around with my. I like uh, his jeans. Yeah, but I punched Olman yesterday, didn't I? Yeah. Oh no, mate. Bye. You better throw them away, bro. There's not enough holes in them. Yeah, but you made like a one centimeter hole, and uh, you're moaning. Yeah, what? but it's right over the butthole. So <laughs> it's kind of bad. Yo, what's going on, bro? Where are you? 
I'm at the, uh, I'm at the train station. When you said when you said you're at the train station, I thought you meant you were at the train station because you're getting the train to Plymouth. Right, as you can see, there is a queue all the way from like three fields back to like the main entrance of a festival. And stupidly, everyone's being like like good people and like queuing up one by one. But I reckon if we go straight off road, like down there, we can skip the entire queue. Car on that oh list. shit, I think there's some drifting going on. There we go. <laughs> we'll just get a bit of a run up. Uh, oh fuck. <laughs> Look, and then go between the Toyota and the VW. <laughs> We skipped at least 20 minutes of queuing. <laughs> oh, no, no, stop, just stand still. How's the traffic management? When you fail all your GCSEs, you spend 364 days a year taking ketamine. Get one role where you're in charge of something and become like a fucking narcissistic, egotistical Hitler. This is the dude in the middle, like, takes his job way too seriously. This guy here. Yo, you're not, you're not beating me. Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> 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 no, oh, go, 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 go. Yeah. On a run out of fuel at this rate, mate. Right, as soon as there's a gap, I'm just gonna fucking go. <laughs> go on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! He's cutting the queue! He's cutting the queue! Mm. Oh, yeah, no, it's all right. No, that was some good shit. What's this called? Uh, yogurt. Sit rep. We're fucked. Driving down the motorway. Car loses all power. <laughs> My engine's just blown up. <coughs> but we haven't bothered to look at it yet. Because I thought I would like live in the present, completely ignore the problem, and just eat some popcorn, and then worry about getting home. Look at the weather. We're like <laughs> two hours from home. Mmm, that's popcorn. Yeah. Thank you. Sounds good to me, boy. Oh, right, mate, 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 listen. You, you hear that, you hear, hear that knocking? This one right here, right? You hear that knocking, listen, listen, listen. Oh. It's not, it's... It... Oh, that don't sound good now. <laughs> John, we all need you to take the biggest hit you can of that car air freshener. No, no. Take the actual one. Oh, shit. <laughs> you want a good, like, two second inhale. Oh, like, as hard as you fucking can. <laughs> Let's get your nose filled with marzipan. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> oh shit! No, I'm not a fucking idiot, I'm not doing that. It is. 1827, we've been here six hours. We've been sat at the side of the road in a car full of boys, 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 not girls, boys, for six hours. Hours. See this massively busy road here. We are going to attempt to drive my broken car up the massive hill to McDonald's car park. This is our maximum speed. Oh, oh we can see McDonald's just above the hill. Oh, what are you gonna do? Come on. Come on! Come on, Bessie. It's fucking shaking. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> We currently sell McDonald's right now and we're like um we're drowning our sorrows in like seven thousand calories of food. Yeah! 2am editing crew, I'm not gonna sleep till I get this done. Due tomorrow for Andre, for Athlete. I do like Andre's YouTube if you guys didn't know. But uh, I've been doing this all day, let's crack on.